So you're thinking about moving to Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, or investing in property here, or vacationing here. Um, listen, we've done a lot of videos talking about seafood restaurants, but seafood can be kind of expensive. I mean, so is everything, but you know, seafood can be really expensive <laughs> yeah. here. So what we thought we'd do today is we just do a budget friendly seafood restaurant list. And we just picked out the top 10. Uh, we've done a good bit of research on this. We've actually asked around because some of these places Aileen and I have not been to, but or we don't go too often enough. That's right. So, but anyway, we've gotten public opinion. And so we figured we'd let you know the top 10 list. So let's get to it right now. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and ring that little bell so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to learn about what it's like to actually live at the beach. You know, the beach life. My name is Andy Haas. This is Aileen Fountain. And along with our entire team, we do these videos each and every week just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to actually live at the beach. So whether it's nine days, 90 days, or nine months until you're thinking about making that move, whether you're looking to buy or sell or invest in property, pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up a Zoom call. We'd love to talk to you face to face. We get phone calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. So as I mentioned today, we're going to talk about the top 10 budget-friendly seafood restaurant. If there is such a thing as budget-friendly, <laughs> I mean... It's questionable. I mean, we, <laughs> we did a budget-friendly restaurant list that was more generalized, uh, which, you know, most of our restaurants are either seafood, geared towards seafood, or at least have seafood on the menu. I really can't think of any place uh, other than a pizza that doesn't actually have seafood on the menu. And well, maybe choppers. I mean, I don't think choppers has too much seafood. I mean, that's true. But so anyway, yeah, ninety nine percent. But yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, it, it's everything being so high. Like Whew. even this top ten is just really gonna be better priced than our general list of like our favorite places. Like for example, one of the top ones on our list I saw in a Facebook group. This, this, she was kind of ranking everything that she had done while she was here. And she said, family of seven went out to eat at this restaurant that's on our list and spent $393. Whoa. So I don't know what all, what Andy and I said, well, I don't know what all they ordered because this, this uh, I mean, particular restaurant's on our budget friendly list. Is this a skinny family? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't know. But, but anyway. It, yeah, but anyway, so, so, all that being relative, uh, we're just trying to help give you some ideas. If you want to take your family out to eat, a lot of times you go to the grocery store and you really only eat out a couple times when you come to the beach. Um, we want to give you some options if you do want to, you know, just say So you don't you break the bank. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's get started. Number 10 on the list is Gulf Shore Steamer, not the steamer in Orange Beach, Gulf Shore Steamer. Right. Uh, this is the one, it is uh, down 59, close to, what's the restaurant it's next to? It's kind of over there by the Soto's. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's right. Yep, so we'll, we'll of course, I, as always, I'll put a map to show you where it's at. But anyway, so Gulf Shore Steamer, I do know that you can go in there and you can get um, like a seafood platter, which comes with, I think it comes with royal red shrimp, it comes with... Uh, and of course, everything's steamed and nothing's fried. So it's a little bit on the healthier option. But it also has these crab legs. They have mussels. They have, uh, oh my God, all kind of stuff. Yeah, and Andy, I think when we were coming up with this list, you were, were mentioning, I mean, even if somebody wanted to do their own seafood boil. They you couldn't they, do it for Yeah, if, they, if you went out to one of the local spots, bought the fresh seafood, took it back to your condo or house and did your boil. Then you, you got the mess. Yeah, you <laughs> you actually wouldn't save any money versus just do, going, no. to, going to the- Gulf No, there's, there's no way you could do it your, you know, your own. I mean, and it's, like I said, you've got, uh, I mean, just a plethora of, of yeah. different seafood on there. So it's a really good option. You can call them up, get it to go. You can take it back to the condo. You know, they'll even give you, I think they'll give you the little crackers for the legs to go with it. So, um, but yeah, really good deal on, and, and it made number 10 on the list. So yep. there you go. 
So number nine on the list is uh, King Neptunes, which funny thing is neither Andy or I have ever been to King Neptunes, despite the fact that it has long since been a staple in Gulf Shores. I don't even know how long it's been there. It's been there all 20 years that I've lived here. It's right on 59, tiny little place, uh, limited parking, limited seating. Um, really that, that one was one of our ones that was kind of recommended from, from when we were to kind of polling. Yeah. I have, this. I have friends of mine who rave it. I mean, they're, they're yeah. like, this is the greatest place. And, so. and I don't know why, I mean, you get, in, there's so many restaurants you get in your routines of which ones you go to and it has never made my, my routine. And I, we need to go check it out. I, I do. I mean, I'm telling you every time my wife and I get ready to go eat somewhere you know we always say well where do we want to go eat and we'll usually take i'm not kidding you this is what we do so we have taken names of our favorite <laughs> restaurants we put them you a little piece of paper. yeah and then we just draw out a name because we can't you know you just can't choose so we just sit here and go oh, all right well this time we're going you know to tiki bar or we're going here we're going there wherever but it's like we put our favorite restaurants in there we should start putting some of the ones that we haven't tried just to try them out. I mean, you know, why not? So that, that way- I think that's what we need to do. You and I both need to get a household bowl. With, one a week. With all the restaurants we haven't been to, and we'll just start pulling from there. One a week. That's what I we like need to do. I like that idea. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, not, number nine was King Neptune's. Yep. And, I, and I've heard their crab legs and they, I've heard they got great bushwhackers. I mean, believe it or not. Wow. And then- uh, That's another reason why we gotta yeah. go. And their crab legs are, from what I've heard, the crab legs are phenomenal. Um, number eight on the list is Wolf Bay Lodge. Now listen, great food. I've never had anything bad at Wolf Bay. The salad bar is phenomenal. Yeah. But but yeah, I've had. Uh, it, it's I pretty think consistent. I got, yeah, I think I got the last time I went. I got blackened grouper. Whew, and it was fire. I'm telling you. Yeah, it was really they're good. they're well priced, good food, good atmosphere. I mean, Andy and I have hosted actually a couple of events there where I, you know, we catered it and paid for all the food, and I mean, really, really reasonable yeah. on those prices. Um, so anyway, yeah, great, great, great place. Yeah. So um, number seven on the list is actually a restaurant that seems to sort of be maybe franchising out. They're everywhere now, but it's the shrimp basket. I almost think of it like fast food. I really do. I it, mean, just kind of like a Burger King or a McDonald's and not, nothing negative. I'm just saying I almost feel like that because you can get in and out so quick. I literally never eat there ever. Probably haven't been there in 15 or 20 years, but they are everywhere. I mean, they're in Perdido Key, Gulf Shores, Orange yeah. Beach, Foley, um, I think that oh, they have a location in Bay Manette. I mean, yeah, <laughs> love it. But anyway, okay. so shrimp basket, that's yep. number seven on the list. Number six. Number six is a place that I have never been to, but we have been called out on it uh, probably 10 times on our videos is Mikey's. Yep. Now we've had several people tell us you need to put Mikey's on your list. You need to put Mikey's on your list. Mm -hmm. I got to put Mikey's on my list to go there and eat because. Well, it's another one that is a staple in Gulf Shores has been there as long as I've been here. I have been to Mikey's a handful of times, but I've only eaten there a couple of times over, over the last 20 years. So I really, I couldn't say, I really can't say like, you know well i can tell you this ashley bias who you know mm -hmm. our our buyer's agent and uh, any of you who have ever dealt with us in real estate on this channel that have talked to ashley super sweet but when we talked to ashley about this list that was her first she said yeah. don't forget to include mikey she did she so did. i um, mean mikey's is a place you got to go try out i mean I, I i think that's another one we put in the bowl we got to go try it yeah. i mean 100 percent. So number five, um, I have been to a number of times over the years. It's not, not a place I frequent or anything, but number five is DeSoto's. Um, very, very popular, um, both tourist season and with the snowbirds in the off season. They have, uh, they're always consistent, really good food. You get a, a big bang for your buck there. Um, Don't but, they have a meet and three? Uh, I think, no. I, I think, think they fine. do. What? Yeah, I'm almost. No, you're talking about. No, I think that's for the snowbirds, though. 
I know, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, do you like so for lunch, my, uh, DeSoto's is a great place to go. Yeah, DeSoto's yeah. is, it, and, and it's very reasonably priced. The food is good and it's consistent. Um, DeSoto's is like a well-oiled machine. I mean, that place has just been there, been there forever and operates very smoothly and efficiently. Now, I have a story about DeSoto's because it's not a place that I've ever been into to eat. I've never been in oh, the physical place. Catered. But we've had it catered several times, um, and we do. We go to the Auburn games, and every year for the Auburn Alabama game, when it is in Auburn, um, if it's not, it's usually the game before that. But DeSoto's will cater our tailgate event. So I mean, and they'll oh my gosh, the food they'll bring tons of food. I mean, crab legs. They do shrimp bowl. They'll do the whole thing on site. And it is oh, wow. unbelievable. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, like last year, you know, we might have had maybe 25 or 30 people show up to the to the shrimp bowl, you know, to the little crab bowl, whatever. We had 25 or 30 people. Then those people must have told five other people because this year we probably had 75 or 100 show up. I mean, like it 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 was phenomenal. So anyway, DeSoto's great, great, great place. Um, number four on the list is one of my favorite places, and I was devastated when it caught on fire, but Bahama Bob's. Yep. Bahama Bob's is absolutely fantastic. Yep. I love everything on the menu. The popcorn, the, they have like the popcorn shrimp that's just, oh my God, it's so good. Yeah, that's another one that is just been around forever, tried and true, It you know, consistent, good food. I've heard that they've kept just about the entire same staff that they had before it burned, um, get really good drinks there. It's they have, back open. It's yeah, back it's open. Back open. <laughs> um, really good drinks there as well. Um, and then in, in the off season, another little popular place for the snowbirds because they do have like a meet and two or meet and three. I don't, I don't remember which, but, but anyway, really good, really consistent. The only downfall to Bahama Bob's is the parking because they don't have a lot of parking, but now you can park across the street and walk across. That's right. And yeah. since they Very put in, small parking lot. yeah, so the, isn't it down that section where the, they have it where you can't turn right? I mean, can't turn left. I'm yes. not sure, but yes. anyway, it's not. Yeah, it's right across the street. So it's yeah. not. It's not dangerous to walk across the street. It's my point. You know, if you, of course, keep your head on a swivel. But anyway, <laughs> you walk across the street. Number three is um, a place that I have driven past this restaurant in my lifetime. Probably 10,000 times, and I never stop and eat there. Because you don't like, you You th think it's bad. I do. and because this, I, was, this was one of our arguments the, where we the, had an argument. The, I, I have been there a few times. <laughs> I don't understand why it is so popular other than the fact that it's budget friendly. And it's great food. I'm telling According you. According to Andy. It's Docs. And Docs, to me, is one of the better places. I mean... Of course, if you, you know, and, and they, you know, their whole, they, they run signs up and down the beach all the time that says, you know, the best shrimp in the civilized world. And I, I'm going to tell you, or best fried shrimp in the civilized world. And I'm going to tell you that the fish is unbelievable. They, I mean, I just think everything at Docs is great. I didn't used to have that opinion. I used to think Docs was horrible because you walked in, it, it tasted like everything was fried in the same grease. And you smelled like a French fry or a hush puppy when you left the place. That is no longer the case to me. I mean, I've eaten there recently, and it's just it's it's fantastic. They've straightened their mess out. So I'll take your word for it, Andy. Give it a try and put in the comments. Let us know what your opinion is of Docs. That's what we want to know. What what's your opinion of everything on our list? But of course, let us know about Docs. Let us know what you think. I'm going to let you take number two as well because I've never been to number two, but you and Ashley wrote oh, about it. Number two should be number one on everybody's list, in my opinion. But number two is the point, an interior point. It's I think they call it the original point. I just always called it the point. But the point is fantastic because of so many reasons. I mean, the food is phenomenal. They have uh, live music outside almost every single day, I think. They have uh, like a local band that, that regulars there and they have a lot of regulars go there a lot of times. So I will tell you <clears> that, that Ashley uh, seconds this uh, in her opinion of this restaurant and raves about it as well. 
So with that being said, I'm definitely going to get down there and check that one out. Oh my gosh. Before yeah. Before I give docs another shot, I'm going to get there. Anyway. Well, the point's better than docs. I'm, I'm just telling you it is. It's just better. But it's a good little ride, um, especially if you're staying in Orange Beach. It's a good little ride down there. Um, yeah. And they're, again, kind of like Bahama Bob's, their parking is kind of limited. Um, so my suggestion is get there early. You know, if, if you want to go eat dinner, say four thirty, five o'clock, you don't really have any, any qualms, but if you try to go between say six and seven thirty or eight o'clock, it's probably going to be a wait. Just telling you, I mean, it, it's that popular. So, so number one on the list is hands down, in my opinion, the best food you can get for the price and that is sea and suds excellent food it's directly on the gulf um yeah. i've never ever had a bad experience there they've got raw oysters a salad bar and everything that they fry there is to perfection they have the crinkly fries that are fried to perfection even their little burger i love to get at sea and Suds. super budget friendly um now, again, every, prices have gone up everywhere, but take yeah. all that to in, con, into consideration. And I have yet to find any place that has the quality for the price uh, that's better than Sea and Suds. So, well, and again, I've never eaten at Sea and Suds. I've been there for drinks. I've gone there several times with Charlie for drinks, but I've just never eaten there. So I really have to go eat there i mean yeah, it, because i've heard and and charlie goes there don't is all, it the oh, fried mullet? charlie goes once a week for fried mullet <laughs> that's what and I that is another, every tuesday and friday is all you can eat fried mullet and i mean every forever 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 it was 9.99 all you can eat fried mullet yeah i haven't been to the all you can eat fried mullet in a while we'd have to have, i'd have to call charlie to see what the price is now yeah, but you know he's 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 an old staple in Gulf Shores. So they probably kept the price the same for him. Yeah, probably. But anyway, yeah, it, a great place. Um, I've eaten there many times, and you and cannot beat the view. No. Oh my gosh! I mean, it's right there on the Gulf. So. Parking there, they actually have valet parking because you do. Um, there they don't have any parking Gulf side, so they have valet. Um, if you don't want to use the valet, you park in the um parking lot across the street, but, uh, but yeah. I didn't know they had ballet parking. Hmm. Swanky for a cool. budget friendly place. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah. That place and, and expect to wait if it's during season, um, you will, will not just get into seeing suds. It is, it, it is no secret that that place is awesome. And, and they're definitely a wait. Um, highly recommend going, checking it out in the off season or just being prepared for the wait. So, well, there you go. Well, there you have it. That's our top 10 budget-friendly seafood places. Listen, be sure and leave us a comment and let us know what you think of our list. If there's something we left off or if there's something you think we should go try and, and maybe do a review of it, then just let us know. I mean, we'd love to hear from you. So um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, and ring that little bell so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to learn about what it's like to actually live at the beach. The beach life. So listen, be sure and watch some of our other videos. And until next time, we hope to see you around town. See you around town.